Hey guys, Chris Taylor from Watch the Internet. Uh, this video is to show a little bit of the equalizer inside of Media Monkey. Uh, it's also going to help you with a couple more presets that I'm going to put in the sidebar that you can install into your Media Monkey. I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to download the file that I put in the sidebar. Uh, if you're wondering what's on my desktop right now or why it looks like this, this is Fences. I've done a, a video on it. I'll put it in the sidebar as well. So this is the file that comes up. I made uh, some presets for you guys uh, inside of Media Monkey. You're going to open it up in WinRAR if you want. Uh, and you're going to select all. And then I'm going to extract it somewhere. And I guess I can just put it on my desktop. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's very small. Very, very small file folder. And uh, all it is is a bunch of, a bunch of presets like dance, instrumental. Because Media Monkey only comes with about six. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to install a little bit more um, EQ presets. So we're going to go to computer. You're going to open up your C drive. You're going to open up program files. You're going to find the Media Monkey folder. Open that up. You are going to open up your equalizer. And then you're going to open up Media Monkey presets. I'm going to go over here and select all of the presets that are in the folder that you downloaded from me. You're going to drag and drop them right into that um, folder. Yeah, you can move and replace. It's the same. Um, I've included the same. Um, what is it? Oh, six. Uh, six presets that they give you so you'll just be replacing things that are already there alright so there we go and we're gonna exit out of that and open up Media Monkey and to open up the equalizer it's not uh, it's not available for you right when you download it so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to view and the equalizer is there you can also press control alt plus E if you want to show it up so there's the equalizer. I don't have an equalizer enabled right now, but I'm going to. I'm going to enable my equalizer, and you can change it around if you want. Uh, you can also save presets. I'll show you that in a second. But first of all, we're going to load some of those presets that I gave you. So you're going to have to find the Media Monkey equalizer folder that you put all of your uh, presets in. So we're going to go to uh, Media Monkey here inside a program file. We're going to open up Equalizer and there's all your presets. Okay, uh, I'm going to have a... Let's have an easy listening preset. So there it is. Um, that's just what it looks like. If you want to load any more, just press load and you can load it up. Uh, now if you want to make your own preset, you can press reset. It's going to roll right back to the middle. And if I wanted to have my own preset uh, for what I like to listen to, I'm going to do something different. If I want, you know, to go up a, a little bit in volume. And if I want to save this preset, I'm going to press save. I'm going to press uh, Chris. That's what my preset's going to be called. And now, if I want to, I'm going to reset. If I want to load my preset, I'm going to go find the Chris preset, open it up, and there it is. That's all it is for uh, Equalizer, really. Uh, I'm going to go back and load in a disco preset. I, this is how you change your Equalizer, so uh, some of your songs sound better or worse. Depends on what you listen to. Thanks, guys. See ya.